Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're gonna take a quick look at the... Quellor? Kellor? The big gun thing. So, the only way to get the big gun thing is by farming captains and commanders in either Grenier Galleons or on asteroid bases in Railjack missions. Now, the big gun thing is a Mastery Rank 12 primary that does 58 damage per shot, 22 as puncture, 16 as code, 12 as slash, and 8 as impact. It comes in with pretty low 12% crit chance, a below average 16 time crit multiplier, and very high 38% status chance. It can also fire up to 6 rounds per second with a 300 round max magazine and 900 spare rounds and it has a a 4 second reload time, oi oi oi. Then however is only the primary fire, there is also a secondary fire which does 1400 damage, 800 of which is code and 600 as impact and this one is focused heavily on crit with a very big 40% crit chance and above average 2.2 times crit multiplier and only 10% status. It does however have charge time, it takes 1.2 seconds to fire it off and every time you do so it will consume 75 ammo. It's also very short range, the fall off starts at 9 meters and ends at 18. Now when it comes to building the big gun thing I decided to go for a build that utilizes both the primary fire with a little bit of status as well as the secondary fire with some crit scaling. Now before someone goes oh my god these youtubers how is he not using that hunter munitions viral setup focused entirely on the secondary fire because I saw someone use it in the simulacrum and it was quite splendid. Put it on the weapon Take it into a mission, you know, I will wait, I can spare the 30 seconds, it will take you to completely run out of ammo and proc like 5 slash procs, and then tell me how good it is, okay? So the build, which by the way doesn't have an Exilus mod, which would require 2 more forma, which I really don't think is worth it, requires 3 forma, which are 2 Vs and a dash. And it's running Serration for damage, Split Chamber for multi-shot, Point Strike for crit, Vital Sense for crit damage, then we have Prime Shred for a nice chunk of fire rate, which helps with both the fire rate on the primary fire as well as the charge up on the secondary fire, and it also gives you 2.2 meters of punch through, which is very nice. After that I had to put on Prime Fast Hands because there is no way in hell a reload fiend like myself can tolerate a weapon with a 4 second reload even if the magazine is very big, and we top it all off with two dual stat mods which are Malignant Force and High Voltage for Corrosive. Now the damage here is actually not that bad, especially if you can reliably hit headshots because then you're getting that massive multiplier on top of stripping away tons and tons of armor thanks to the decent fire rate. The one thing to bear in mind here is that while the accuracy is pretty high, the weapon is not pinpoint accurate which means that both the primary and and the multi-shot bullets will fly off to the side just a little bit, which makes hitting headshots and longer distances kind of difficult. But then again, you probably don't want to be too far away from the enemies just in case you want to use the secondary fire, which for the Grenier isn't that great because they just have too much armor, but for the other two factions, so the Corpus and the Infested, it's actually not too bad, it can do a lot of damage. Honestly, the biggest problem with the secondary fire is just how much ammo it consumes. I think it would have been far better if it had sort of a bata core thing going on, so if you kill a couple of enemies with the primary fire, you get a free big blast with the secondary fire. Now for the corpus, you of course don't want to run corrosive because it's just not that effective, so you want to switch over to gas so the primary fire can proc gas, and the secondary fire... Um... Yeah, the base damage type, so cold and impact, amazing for taking down corpus. Man, this gun, this gun was so close to being great but it's not and it kind of bums me out because i really wanted to like the weapon i mean of course i had a bit of a uh, moment when i saw the reload time but i like the idea of the weapon right i think the primary fire is cool i think the secondary fire is cool i think it looks cool and sounds cool as well but then it starts piling up you know horrendous reload time horrendous ammo economy the accuracy at longer range is not that great and the damage while good it's not like I'm gonna put up with a 4 second reload kind of good. And jokes aside, that Hunter Munitions viral setup is really not that great. It performs about the same as the hybrid setup on the primary fire and it makes the secondary fire very, very random. You only get 16 shots with the secondary fire before you run out of ammo, right? And out of those 16 shots, you're on average gonna get 4 or 5 slash procs. That's it. It looks really great in the simulacrum, right? When you get that slash proc, you see it and you're like, ooh, that is spicy. But in the game, you just fire it off, no slash proc, fire it off, no slash proc, fire it off, no slash proc, reload, 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 reload. You fire it off one more time, you get that slash proc, you see that fat tick fly out from the enemy and they die. And then the realization kicks in. You're like, dude, that was 300 rounds. I can't keep doing this, this is madness. And you use the primary fire for the rest of the mission. 
and no amount of ammo mutation is going to compensate for that because it's just too much which is why I didn't even bother to put it on because you don't need it if you're just using the primary fire. So all in all, a pretty cool gun that you can of course pick up if you think it looks fun, but I'm just not going to recommend it. I think it has a little bit too much bad going for it. And that is pretty much it. So I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.